Ladies and gents, it's four o'clock sharp. Actually not, it's 402 sharpish here on the north side of Chicago on a beautiful day. Rose is out on her second walk of the day. Me and my man Art are in the kitchen about to make a really delicious but easy and nutrient dense pasta dish. We're gonna use my favorite spaghetti. How well do y'all know me? I'm gonna reach into my closet right now. What is my favorite spaghetti, my gluten-free spaghetti on the market? Which one is it? I'm gonna let you guys guess. We're gonna make a semi-homemade sauce with some onions and garlic and kale and rayos and Alfredo sauce. And we have some amazing Spanish olive oil and I have some chicken that's about to come out of the oven. Michael says yellow lentil. Bronco says yellow lentil. Uh, Danny says red lentil, close. Uh, Gluten-free pasta from Trader Joe's. Well, yeah, those are my two favorite ones, but this is it, Art. I'm using the organic yellow lentil and brown rice pasta from T to the J, Trader Joe's. We'll talk about that in a minute and why it's my favorite. We officially live in now a, uh, a work zone. There's construction on a new condo right there. They're redoing the grout over there and the people's electric uh, or people's gas is drilling a new hole there all day long. We can't keep the windows open because it's, it's crazy. So who cares? We're gonna hang out, have a good time. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where in the world you are watching from today. Hey, uh, say hello to the one and only Arthur T. Ellison. Hello, everybody. <laughs> that was very uh, radio-esque art, if you know what I mean. I see uh, another fan from Appleton, Wisconsin. Wow, not Appleton is getting really strong on here. Not love, Dirk. Love Chris me. Kennedy. Welcome. Chris? I think Chris is the one we saw last time. I was wondering if I, yeah, I didn't Chris, hear the name the other do you day. Know, uh, do you know that person? Uh, can we talk about uh, Chris? Do you know uh, D. Brown? Uh, we Stang Man's in the house Stangman from the ATX. From the ATX in the house. Uh, Rachel bought Rayos because, I mean, it's on sale right now at Costco, so how about that? Uh, kimchi is good stuff, David. It's a natural fermentation. Uh, so doesn't, doesn't know D. Doesn't know D? You guys should get together and have some, uh, some coffee talk. Um, so let's get rocking and rolling. Um, we're going to make spaghetti with a semi-homemade sauce. We're going to fold in some kale in there, or as Jim Gaffigan would say. All right. I'm going to sneak a little kale in there. going to sneak a little kale in there. We're going to make a side salad with some of the extra virgin olive oil. We might as well talk about this now. You've seen me using the Spanish single estate olive oil, extra virgin, for weeks now. This is really highly rated and award-winning Spanish EVOO. And one of the coolest things to me is, look at this line right here. It is cold pressed within seven or six hours of coming off that tree right there. Freshness counts, just like Kramer says on uh, Seinfeld. Poise counts. Poise counts. Uh, these guys do it right. The flavor is so robust and so big. This can easily be a twenty to twenty-five dollar bottle of olive oil. It's only twelve dollars on their website, and I talked them into giving us a fifteen percent off coupon on top of that. So right below the video, check them out. It's called Casa de Waldo. Spain has a lot of olives. Not all of it's good there, but these guys have an award-winning estate that the oil only comes from one single estate, and it's amazing. We'll talk about it later, but get the EVOO. That's not a cooking EVO. It's a finishing one that will totally transform our pasta to next level. A deep fry in mind. <laughs> well, Art's a baller. That's why. So we're going to make our semi-homemade sauce with onions and garlic, then throw in rayos and alfredo sauce and kale, and then chicken's about to come out of the oven. So it's a relatively easy meal tonight but easy is okay and tasty easy is even better i was thinking of a dave matthews song what is it like uh, crazy, crazy is, all, is all right crazy is all right oh, yeah from crush so let's go to uh culinary school please i really need to sharpen this knife it's so dull which I'm is very i'm embarrassed unsafe. for you art i'm embarrassing art he's embarrassing myself if that makes any sense okay so we make the plank see why is it a, a blunt knife an unsharp knife not safe because look, I have to put extra pressure under pressure when I cut my knife now. Extra pressure means I'm pushing the knife could slip and then boom, you're four finger McGee. You want to be a four finger McGee art? I'm perfectly content. Well, I like having four fingers and a thumb. <laughs> Good point, thank you. And then one last cut. This knife should breeze through. This is like a three hundred dollar knife. It's a shame that I don't have it uh, sharper than this. I have to send it back to Shun. I would not trust any. Cutlery shop to uh, how, how many do you think that my left hand was about to get sliced when he was doing that? From it the looks camera, like, oh, wow, the camera yeah, yeah. The computer right now looks really close. Ours is not even close to me right Don't now. Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> so, we'll cook the onions, we'll add a little bit of garlic, then we'll add the rayos. So, check out the two sauces over here, Art. 
So we got two of my favorite sauces. You all know Rayo as well. And raise your hand if you've tried the dairy-free Alfredo from uh, Primal Kitchen. It's cashew and avocado oil base. Look at the ingredients here. You've never seen ingredients like that. I check the oils and the ingredients on all these Alfredos at the grocery store, and they're horrific. So this is my cooking extra virgin olive oil. What did I say in the video we made about fake olive oil? This is my Costco, 100% Italian, EVOO. It's my cooking extra virgin olive oil. You could technically use it as a finishing oil, but when I have something so next level, like the Casa de Waldo, I'll use that. So we'll have that warm up. In the meantime, Shaheen in the house. Shaheen from Dubai. I wanted to add a little bit of protein to this meal. So I defrosted some of the Thrive Market Pasture Raised Cook's Venture Chicken. And I roasted it at 400 degrees for 45, 50 minutes. And now Art and I get to eat crispy skin chicharrones for the win. So I'll just shred that and add it to the chicken last second to get some protein in there. But like I said, if you're a Thrive Market member or you want to use my link that I always give you on Fridays, get that pasture-raised chicken. It is literally the juiciest, most tasty pasture-raised chicken. And these guys from Cook's Venture in Arkansas are doing it right. It's so good. Viviana said that she made her own cashew Alfredo. Came out great. You would have been so proud. Oh, that sounds great. Probably would have been so proud until she took a swig of Lamarita. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Um, in kidding. the upcoming cookbook, which you can pre-order on Amazon by using my link down below, um, we have a five ingredient mac and cheese with a, uh, cashew, a cashew, uh, a cashew cream sauce. And it is dynasty. So darn good. Okay. Let's get the onions in. This is usually my go-to meal when I want something quick and easy because I don't want to make a homemade marinara nona style when i'm in a hurry let me show something people are trying to keep me on my toes renee Dennell wants to keep me on my toes so yes. let me not even answer her question verbally but show her the answer to her question look what's in the refrigerator mm. what is that happening art she's like did you take the wagyu out of the freezer art and when are we cooking that tomorrow tomorrow at what time yeah uh, probably at 4 p.m i assume 4 p.m set your alarms right now 4 p.m cst tomorrow we're making $200, $175 worth of Japanese A5 Wagyu steak we got at Costco. I'm going to salt my onions with some Celtic kosher salt. And I'm cooking it in my uh, ceramic pan here. And we'll just get some of the nice flavor out of there. And while it's cooking down, I might as well add a shtickle. Maribel Soto wants to know if she can use white onion instead of red onion. Maribel. Of course, por supuesto. There's not a big difference. I just love red onions. Totally use red. If you only had green onions, use the green part or use the white part now and the green part later on for garnish. Stangman's cooking with you, Bobby. Yeah, I post. Hey, can we get some love for me? I posted the recipe yesterday um, because all you guys were asking for it. And I'm going to try to do that now two-ish times a week. Oh, so can we get some love for me? <laughs> can we see some love for Art? Actually, can I show you? How we get love for art? You go like this. What's this called? A colon here? Art? What's like that? Colon blow? That's a colon. So colon, art. Let me make sure I'm not going to cut myself on a dull knife. Colon. Look at this. Boom! Look at Art's head right there, right? You want some love for DJ Dislav? Colon, Desi. Boom! How about some love for Rose? Colon, Rose. Boom! How do we have these? Because today I enabled for the first time ever channel memberships. The only reason I did it is because a lot of people were asking. I set up three tiers. This should be the most popular tier for T Team Flay City for five bucks a month. Everyone gets a loyalty badge, the Bobby approved uh, symbol next to your name when you make a comment. And right now there's four emojis to use, but um, we're going to unlock a bunch more. Desi's brother in Bulgaria is making 25 custom emojis. I put these other tiers here. It's totally up to you. For $49 a month, you get the same thing plus a members only live stream. For $100 a month, you get a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me each month. Totally up to you, but for five bucks a month, join Team Flav City, support the channel. We'll have amazing emojis in there. Um, I did it because a lot of people request it. Where do we purchase? Oh, uh, right here. So under every single video, there's a join right there. And on the channel homepage, there's a join. So um, yeah, I've been kind of like sleeping on it. 
but a number of my friends who are YouTubers, including Scammer Payback, who is a great channel, Christian, he uh, had a call with me this week. He's like, dude, do it. People love it. They want to support you. And I just put it out there, right? I'm not going to do anything super exclusive for channel members, except the members only live stream once a month and the consultation. But I figure the $5 level is a great place just to get in, get the fun emojis. Every time you leave a comment, you get the uh, Play City uh, Bobby approved there. And that'll change colors every month as you become a member longer. It'll auto charge each month. Yeah. Oh, Richard Marcotte yeah, is the first it. ever member of the Flame City channel. <laughs> awesome, Richie. Now, Rich, leave a comment, and I want to see the Bobby approved thumb next to you. Let me see if I get that when I do that. He, he did it. Oh. Like, uh, I, I oh, saw did, his... Oh, did he make that? Richard, do another comment. I want to see if you stay in green all the time. Oh, okay. Ed. Yeah, that might have just been him paying for membership. I, I see. Know. So it's just fun. YouTube does some really cool stuff. They keep 30% of the revenue, but I don't care about that. Um, they just they make it really fun for everyone to have... He wrote, I am an official member, and so his name is in green and he's got a Bobby approved thumbs up next to it. Awesome. We got our first member, man. Ray Farrell Check it loves out. it. See? Richard Markoff from Southwest Airlines. Woohoo! Nice. Oh, no. Now oh, there it is. There's Richard's badge right there. Oh, the badge. Yeah. What about the emoji? Uh, yeah, emojis are here. Let's do the Desi emoji. Boom. There's Desi. <laughs> oh. Hilarious. What can be used to make chili to make it keto? Well, you can, uh, you got to skip the beans, right? Uh, so just use a normal recipe, skip the beans. If you want to thicken it, use chicharroni powder. Crush up chicharrones. Velvet Diner. Velvet Diner. Welcome to the Flav City family. So we'll just keep it out there. You guys join if you want to. It's all good in the hood. Where are you going? Uh, Rose is back. Rose is back. We're Guess do who's a... back. Rose. Oh, and Velvet Diner is our first Canadian fan club member. Oh, love it. Rose emoji. She's coming back in the house. So Desi's brother is actually an artist and graphic designer in Bulgaria. And for now, he's only allowed to upload four emojis, but he's working on 20 more. He's doing a DJ D-Slav. He's doing Uncle Fart with a wind uh, behind it. He's doing... The wind uh, beneath my wings. The wind beneath his, his butt. We're doing uh, hashtag Team Flady, Flav City, hashtag Feed Art, Feed Desi. Um, I'd scoop that, hashtag Keep On Cooking, all that stuff. Debbie O's a member. Joe Debbie, Del Fields Joe is a member. Dill. Maribel, Maribel is a Love member. It. Do you ever use spaghetti squash? Yes, I do. I love spaghetti squash. There's multiple recipes in the uh, cookbook there. Can you show again how to become a member? Check it out, Stacy. Below every single video we do on mobile or uh, desktop, there's a join right here. Or if you actually go to the uh, the channel homepage. Hey, Rose. Shaheen right here. says she doesn't have the option to join. Really? Is it country by country? Maybe it can be country. There's a join option right here. Ooh. Hi, Rose. Steve. Hey, Rose. We were just using the Rose emoji. Hey, Rose, Steve, my sweet love. All right. Will the members only video include pre-planned cook-along? Yeah, that's totally up to you. If you want the members only thing to be a cook-along, a Q&A, we'll do whatever you want. That's and we got a, a super chat way. here from Canada. Jen, Jen H, $10 Canadian. Hey, guys, glad to be here. Thank you for all you do. If there is a live stream tomorrow, I won't get to watch until Sunday. Monday is Thanksgiving in Canada. Oh my gosh, ah. right. Well, you're gonna want, and MS, welcome to the team. You're gonna you. wanna watch that on Sunday because we're making the Japanese A5 Wagyu steak. No option to join and I am in California. That is messed up. No, no, make sure you're signed into YouTube. That's why if you're not yes. signed into your YouTube or Gmail account, you can't join. So maybe that's a problem for a lot of yeah, folks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same. Ray Farrell is a member now. Ray. There's my buddy, Ray. Deborah L says, oh, no join on iPad. Well, Bobby's on an iPad. No, that's a computer. Never mind. Yeah, you have to be signed in. That's why. But if you should be able to leave a comment, you should be able to uh, join. You would think so. Yeah, but you'll, it's going to be there forever. You'll have plenty of time to join. Yeah, you can have a little snack of chicken, Rosie. Want to see it? Mm-hmm. Vincent is what a member. What Vincent? Please make butternut squash carbonara. Ooh. I think I want to, yeah, you know what? I do butternut squash combined with cashews and I make a, a cream sauce and we use, we can make a mac and cheese out of that. Hello, Nancy, welcome. Ana Maria Palaya is in the house. Right. I think someone needs a time out there. Can someone help us out there? So I'm gonna put up a few cloves of garlic. Now, how do you know, Art, if your garlic is from China or from the USA? You can tell by looking on the bottom of it. Or reading the label. Or the roots, right? If well, well, I got no roots. roots. Then it's but from China. Nah. Always buy garlic that has the roots right here. 
because the Chinese want to remove it and they bleach it. Very important. Hey, Rose, did you have a fun time? I saw a video of you kicking the soccer ball at the park. It looked pretty fun. Was it fun? Huh? Yeah. Very cool, Rosie. Okay, we got you covered, Rosie. Okay, so if you're just joining, leave a comment down below. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. We're live in Chicago, Illinois on a beautiful fall day. We're making easy spaghetti, yellow lentil and brown rice spaghetti, rich in fiber, rich in protein, with a creamy semi-homemade vodka sauce and uh, some shredded chicken and an easy salad. So maybe those of you who successfully joined, let us know if you're watching on your phone, your iPad, or your computer. People are speculating why they don't see the join button. It's so if you successfully join, uh, kind of hard to do two things at once. You're Arthur Tiamas, so you can do anything you want. Well, I'm going to sacrifice Steadicam for looking this up. Eh, it's okay. I can always replace you with Kara. She's steady. <laughs> Welcome, Auto Advocate, to the Flav City team. So yeah, it'll be up to you. If you want the live stream every month to be a cook-along, a Q&A, totally up to you. And then for the $100 package, which I know is not for everyone, you can uh, do a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Ooh, What's up? I don't see the join option on my iPhone. Are you serious? I'm serious. We yeah, are, okay. I'm Yahoo serious. You might have to do it on the laptop for now. I don't know why. Maybe it pushes, uh, I just enabled it today. So maybe it's not out to mobile yet. I don't know. I'm just a caveman. I don't know about technology. That's bizarre. Which is clearly true because you see when Art's not here, the videos go to poopy. I'm sorry, folks. I'm intrigued and I'm trying to figure out why that's the case. I'm missing out on your comments. Art's on the case. Oh. Welcome, Gen H. I'll stop. Yeah, uh, Jessica, later on, go to the desktop, go to the computer. There's no rush. The channel memberships are going to be there for a long time. Um, so why do I love this pasta? Check it out, Art. I've tried a lot of gluten-free pastas in my day. The organic yellow lentil and brown rice pasta from Trader Joe's is my favorite. Why? Because anytime you get lentils, they should be organic because conventional score high in glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup. And look at these ingredients. It's yellow lentils, brown rice, and water. Why is that important? Because it's nutrient dense fiber and protein. Where's the protein? Where's the protein? Where's the protein? Do you see it? Right there, 14 grams. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's nutrient-dense protein and fiber. My biggest pet peeve art with gluten-free anything is they use starchy filler ingredients like corn, white rice, tapioca starch, uh, potato starch. All those have no nutrients. It's nutrient-dead, high-carb, high blood uh blood uh, spike uh, inducing, uh, blood sugar inducing foods. You don't want that. You want nutrient dense this or like a red lentil pasta, right? I was about to say high alive, but no. Say again? High alive. Hi high alive. What's that, that game? Oh, yeah, that, that's a very popular like, Miami game, I think. I think so. Hey, Roasty. So um, we're going to boil that in a minute. We have onions and garlic going here. Uh, we're going to put my two favorite sauces of Rayo's and Alfredo, and then we're going to make a dressing, and we're going to uh, finish the pasta with this. I talked about it earlier, but this is some of the best extra virgin olive oil I've ever tried. It's single estate, meaning it only comes from one farm in Spain, and it's cold pressed within six hours of harvest. I have three different bottles that I got. All right, check it out. I have the robust, the medium, and the mild. That all really depends upon the type of olive they're using. Some can be grassy, some can be fruity, some can be spicy. This is a finishing olive oil. You don't want to cook with this because it's a little more expensive. This kind of bottle could easily be $30, $25. If you go right here, Art, this bottle, first of all, here's the crazy thing. Click on the link here, Casa de Hualdo. This bottle is only $11. It is so ridiculously affordable. And my promo code, Flav City, what is it? Let me make sure. Yeah, Flav City at checkout gets you 15% off. This will be your new favorite one. My favorite one is... To be honest, all of them, but the Robust. The pink Robust one is great, and this, this one's special. This is the Reserva de Familia. It's a little more expensive, but it's really nice. Check this out. We'll use it later on to garnish with. It's unbelievable. Ray was asking if the t-shirts are out yet. Um, no, the t-shirts got delayed a month, um, so we have to wait a little bit longer for that because the way they were structured, uh, there had to be a pre-sale first, and I don't want it conflicting with the... Uh, with the Immune tea. So we delayed this, that about a month. This garlic smells really good. Yeah, it does smell really nice. Now we'll throw the Rayos in there. Ugh. 
Uh, so, Roll Reviews, who is a member, says, could Bobby speak more in depth about the $99 consultation? Oh, sure. So, that'll be a 15-minute Zoom call or whatever, and we'll talk about anything you want to talk about. We'll talk about nutrition as it pertains to you. Coffee talk. Question. Yeah, it's coffee talk. You want to talk about your diet, what you should be buying, what you should be meal prepping. It's totally up to you. If you want to talk about the weather and how cute Rose is, we can do that. But it's a consultation for you. So, if you feel like you need access to me to ask about certain questions about health and nutrition, it's totally up to you. Ana Maria Palaya says, hi Kara with a C, hi Desi and Rose Honey Bunny. Thank you. We're gonna, I told Kara we're going to do a Kara emoji for the next batch. They only let me upload four right now, but as soon as you get members, you can do more. And Desi's brother is a graphic designer in Bulgaria. He's doing... Um, Really fun ones. He's doing an Uncle Fart. Alan Girl is in the house. With Alan Girl, membership. Welcome. Woo He's doing a DJ D Slav one with like headphones on. He's doing uh, Bobby with a shopping cart. Hashtag Team Flav City. Hashtag Feed Art. Uh, we're doing a hashtag Keep On Cooking. It's going to be super fun. Jen H wants to know when the app will be ready and available. Uh, that's a Desi question. Probably like late November. There's a ton of work to go in that. And we have to make sure it's ready. What sauce am I using? Art, right, show these two right here. This is, this is why it's semi-homemade. I'm using two of the best sauces on the market. Char Troyer in the house. Hey, Char. Alan girl. Finally got the rails at our Costco, much tastier than Victorio's from Denny M, a Flav City member. Yes, I've done side-by-side -side comparisons. Rayo's better. I wish Rayo's used the organic, but I told you, not a big deal because they peel the skin of the tomatoes. Christy Nicole with a $4.99 super chat. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Christy. Now, Earlier, I roasted four bone-on, skin-on, pasture-raised chicken thighs from Thrive Market. When do we eat the skins? You read my mind. Now, I don't need the skin for the recipe, but I do need the skin in my belly. Is it possible and it would make the recipe even better? I don't think so for this one, but it makes the chicken better because awesome. as opposed to... Come over here and say hi to I already did. Oh, you did? Very nice. It actually, it actually bastes the chicken with fat while it's baking. Hey, oh, I got oh, Rose is like this. She's like, I want the chicken. So it keeps it nice and juicy. And when the chicken's on the uh, bone like this, it stays really juicy. Oh my God. That's a good one. Oh my God. That is goofy. Let's uh, let Art get in there. Yeah. Marcotte wants to know where the blueberries are. <laughs> All right, get in there and peel yourself a piece real quick. I don't mind if I do. Oh, my goodness. As Homer Simpson would say. That's the beauty of cooking the chicken with the skin on rose, because it makes the chicken juicier and more flavorful, and Daddy and everyone get to eat the crispy skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Adriana, there should be a little join button right below the uh, video. Here's feeling good all the time. No, Sarah, power, power aids to be avoided. Mm. Hashtag feed art is trending already. Oh, yeah. Nice and salty. Yeah, right? I really need some chicken. I'm going to shred you some chicken, Rose, and maybe some blueberries if you want it. No join button in California. That's so weird. We'll figure even, it out. Even when I closed the chat, uh -huh. I still couldn't see the join button. Strange. But we'll get to the bottom of that. Diane Kirkland, welcome to the family. Okay, Rose is managing the community now. Right, Rosky? But I didn't check it on the website. I was using the YouTube app. Uh, so if I go to YouTube.com on my browser. Yeah, but you're not logged in there. So I am. Oh, really? I'm logged I in everywhere. I think most people don't do that. Adriana, welcome to the family. All right, Rose, let's get you some food, huh? Let's get you some food. Lala, Lala girl, girl is a member. Lala girl is so sweet. She sent a present yesterday for Rostina, oh me, and Desi. Goodness. She's so sweet. And she makes me Thank jealous. Lala, girl. Because she lives in California and keeps going to the, um, the big box outlet. And she gets the most amazing stuff. It makes me very envious when you send these things. I want you to keep sending them, but it makes me envious. So let's recap what's going on. Onions, garlic, Rayo's sauce, and Alfredo sauce, dairy-free, is in here. So let that bubble away. In. We'll start bowling the pot of water. Put the computer back in front of Rose. Because she has to manage the chats, right, Rose? She might delete your stream. <laughs> ah, actually, I'm, it's okay, but thank you. Uh, well, welcome, Brittany. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, for those asking, I'm signed in to my browser. I'm signed into my app. It's folded into the... Uh, we're not eating chicken on the side. 
Mm. It's going to fold in. It's a fold. Let's see if I shut down my app and open Ooh. it again. Is that good, Rusty? Oops, sorry. Uh, Internet caching. I don't know about that stuff. I'm just a caveman. I cook and I shop. That's it. I don't know about caching, cookies, Ethernet, anything like that. I've got no option to join, even if I shut down the app. Weird, wacky stuff, Art. So, yeah. By the way, did, did we figure out, is Rayo's on sale at every Costco or just select ones? Because some people I saw oh, no. said it wasn't on sale at their location, which was a shame because I thought for sure it was on sale everywhere. Somebody said hit the dollar sign. Okay, I'll try that. That is there. I know that. Mm -hmm. I, I ate all my chicken skin by myself. Oh, by the way, raise your hand if you're uh, cooking along with us. What's up, Bart? What would you find? Oh, never mind. That's a super sticker. Susie, welcome to the family. Costco sale ended. Uh, the Rails one ended a little earlier. The nationwide one I did for the video is still going on. Yeah, I saw Rails at my local Costco, says Rami. Mm-hmm. Hello, everyone. Hey, Rose. Hey, Rusty, my sweet love. Oh, thank you, Ben. Okay, so I have a lot of water. Come back yonder here, Art. I have a lot of water, because I'm Bobby Boucher, the water boy, in my pasta pot. I don't know. What is that? Oh, it's a tomato. Look at Rayo's. They put a whole uh, tomato in there. Where? Yeah. Well, quality control. Oh, wow. Dang. Okay, so I have literally one gallon of water in there, because I want my pasta to have room to breathe, right? Give it some room to breathe. Exactly. So we got to figure roughly four ounces of pasta per person. We have four people, including Kara. So I need 16 ounces. So here's 12. And here, actually, I have another one open already. Is this four ounces? I should, let me weigh this. Let's see. I need four more ounces. By the way, this is a digital scale from OXO. I think everyone needs it. It just comes in really handy. This noise pollution has been driving me crazy all day. Not only noise but air pollution, if there's dust, it's yeah. like crazy. Because they're removing the grout across the building. 5.78 ounces. So we'll do these two. Noise all day. And it's a beautiful day. We want some air in here. And like we're filming videos and it was so loud. Okay, so I have to salt the pasta water like the... Dada. Like the dada? <laughs> like the sea. Like the ocean. Like the dead sea. Like the dead sea. That'd be maybe a bit aggressive. So we'll put some really nice Celtic salt in here. I know it's a little more expensive to season your pasta water with the Celtic. Um, so if you wanted to use one of the cheaper salts, I, it's understandable for that. I understand that. We I just have a got tub of this. We just got a massive super chat Joe from Joe Dell. Dell. Forty nine ninety nine. Joe Dell, you're so sweet. She joined and she just gave a forty nine dollar super chat. Rose just did a cheers to you. Do you see that? <laughs> Dang girl. No. I saw Jamie Oliver do this a long time ago. When the pasta goes in, you want it to spread. So put two hands on, going the opposite ways, and then it just kind of falls like that. And Desi, would you like your pasta to be al dente or soft? I like it soft. Desi loves her pasta soft. Well, just because of the nature of the, of the beast. Pasta. Yeah, so what Desi wants, we'll do. Uh, but you do you. That's the most important thing. So I'll check that in about 10 minutes. The, That's salt. Now, if salt. you wanted to use red lentil pasta, salt. the red lentil spaghetti from Trader Joe's is fantastic, but you have to boil it for 18 minutes. I think the box says to boil it for 10 or 11. It's so al dente then. Even in the cookbook, coming up, the semi-homemade five-ingredient cookbook, uh, I tell you, don't listen to the box instructions for that. You have to boil it for 18 minutes. La la girl, Alan girl, I'm doing well. Hope you guys are both Kelly doing well. Kelly Weinstein, is there a way to make the spaghetti chat. sauce less acidic for a tomato-sensitive person? Uh, yeah, just use a lot more Alfredo sauce and just a dollop of daisy, I mean a dollop of Oreo sauce. Or uh, if you actually wanted to just use a little uh, tomato, I would use tomato paste. And that has that real strong flavor. And if you wanted to be like in a chemistry class, you could put some baking soda in there and that'll neutralize some of the... Uh, oh, interesting. I didn't know about I don't that. know how good it's going to taste. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, oh, right, right, what I was saying about the cookbook. Check it out, Art. Um, if you want to pre-order the cookbook, click on this link right here. And I believe it still is... Look at this. It's still a bestseller. This is crazy, you guys. The book's not even out yet. And it's a bestseller. Oh, the old one was a bestseller uh, on Tuesday. That one's not anymore, but that's okay. Um, so check that. I'll click in the link down there. Also down there is my immune tea uh, pre-sale list here. Uh, 16,000 strong. That should be ready to ship on 11-16. And then don't forget the link for the, uh, the olive oil. This is Casa de Waldo, the most affordable 
Super. What's that? Waldo. Yeah, Casa de Waldo. <laughs> Waldo! The most affordable, single varietal, single estate, extra virgin olive oil I've ever seen. Code Flav City at checkout gets you 15% off. My favorite is the Robust, but any one of these is fantastic. I know quantities are limited, so, <laughs> so if you want to get... <laughs> Who's a goof? If you want to get the double size model, get that too. Rose, you're a goofball. Nice, Rebecca, thank 1,100 you. people watching. No, Rebecca, I haven't tried that uh, lentil lasagna sheet, the lentil and pea lasagna sheet I showed in the video last week. If anyone's tried that yet, please let me know. Now, I do want to sneak some kale in here. Sarah Windmuller wants to know where she can buy your immune tea. Is it on Amazon? No, no, no. It's not going to be on Amazon. It's going to be on shopflavecity.com. Um, but you have to sign That's up. That's one word. The, uh, yeah, shopflavecity.com, one word. You'll have to sign up for the pre-sale list. I was hoping it to be out this month, but they're having a delay with the lemon peel powder. See, we're not using any fake ingredients. It is pure lemon peel powder, lemon juice powder, MCT oil powder, organic turmeric, ginger, black pepper, monk fruit powder. That's it. So there was a delay in the lemon peel powder. It should be available to ship 1116. It's $29.99 for a 30 day supply. It looks just like this. Safe to say you're not flopping any turkeys. I'm not flopping turkeys. It comes like this. You put it in eight ounces of cold or hot water and it's immune boosting and anti-inflammatory tea. If you want the fresh version of this, go to my blog, just search Google for Flav City Immune Tea. This is the uh, powdered version of that. So we got you covered either way, y'all. Thank you so much, Minra. Uh, speaking of amazing recipes, let's get some kale out here. I, I love cooking with kale. And I know some people are like, oh, it's just like a stupid hipster ingredient, blah, blah, blah. It actually is the second mo most nutrient dense veggie on the planet behind watercress. It's very high in vitamin A, K, super, super good for you, and antioxidants. A little bit of vitamin R too. Yes, look what's defrosting in the fridge, y'all. Set your reminders for 4 p.m. Chicago time tomorrow. Art and I got Japanese Wagyu. Those eight are not lungs. Steaks. They're what? They're not lungs. They're not lungs, they're steaks with the most amazing marbling ever. This could easily be $150, $200 a pound, but Costco had them for $99 a pound. And we got them because Art said it's a write-off. So I'm like, okay, he's right. We're gonna make them tomorrow. Gotta figure out some side dishes. It's gonna be the most exciting live stream of the month for sure. Uh, we just got a $5 super chat from Maritza Castello. Thank you so much, Maritza. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. See, and it is a write-off. Thank you, Richie boy. <laughs> uh, you guys, what if we pre-order the cookbook? Will it prevent us from getting it signed? Those are two separate things. So if you want to get from Amazon, you get it from there. The signed cookbooks will come directly from my website and directly from Art and my kitchen here. So uh, those are two separate ones, but get two copies. Give, give away the Amazon one and keep the signed one for yourself. All right? So we got a lot of stuff going on. So the book's coming out on 12.1. We'll have signed copies too. The app will come out sometime in November. Bobby approved app, in case you don't know. Uh, we'll have a barcode scanner. You can scan anything at the grocery store. It'll tell you if it's Bobby approved or not and why. And all of our information from every single video will be in the app. So you can search by and browse by aisle in the grocery store and learn what to look for, what to avoid, and what are the best in class Bobby approved products. People are getting used to these different colors for the fonts on the messages. Uh, Rebecca says, I think blue is for chat moderators and green is for members. Alan Girl's got both. She's a member and oh, moderator. Cool. She's got a blue wrench. That's uh, traditional, but hey, still no next to the green the, name Hey, no one's used the uh, emoji. Someone do um, colon, Bobby, colon, and then colon, Desi, colon, Art, colon, Rose, Desi, uh, Rose, colon. Are you going to have... There emoji? we go, la girl. Are you going to have an emoji for colon blow? I like, won't. You know, I might, you never know. Have some cereal on there. Yeah. Talk to Lauren first. Yeah. Hopefully it shows you how to use them easily, but it's colon, Bobby, Rose, Desi, or Art, and then colon. Uh, Jen H, Canadian, $5. How do we get a signed one? I want one, but I've signed up already for a new cookbook. Oh, we got you covered, Jen. So probably the first week of December, we'll do signed cookbooks on uh, YouTube live streams only. And then you check out on uh, Shopify and we ship to Canada and everything. So we got you covered. We a got bag you of covered. flackers. What's that? A bag <laughs> of flackers. Or how about Mary's Gone Flackers? The merger that is... I, I can't wait for that. Waiting to happen. I Art's really waiting. hope that happens. Does a celiac have to worry about chicken eating wheat? No. You don't have to worry about that. That's a good question, though. There we go. I see some Bobby emojis. I see the whole family emoji there. 
So Desi's brother, in case you didn't hear me, he's a graphic design artist and he's in Bulgaria now and he's working on probably 20 more emojis of hashtag feed art, DJ D Slav with headphones on, um, hashtag Team Flav City, hashtag keep on cooking. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Adriana Lopez says, what if you can't afford $170 steaks? Now, I, that's not something anyone here is going to do often. This it's is a like one time a, hey, splurge to do on live stream with we you don't, guys. You don't need to do it too. I mean, yeah, yeah. Just, no, no, that's you want not... to have any. You, you want to find the cheapest steak you can get and want to cook along, do it. Exactly. It's, how about the experience? Because I did a story about the steaks. They're like, you're so, you know, elite. I'm like, guys, I'm not saying this is something I do every day. It was a treat and I wanted to get it to make on a video. This is my job, right? I'm not eating $100 steaks every single night. No way. Plus, I think I'd have a heart attack if I eat that food every night. <laughs> Yeah, somebody said uh, in one of the comments once, hey, you're not going to want to eat that whole thing. You're going to want oh, no a way. little bit of it. Oh, I agree. I'll probably have maybe half a steak at the most, which is why I got to... What kind of side dishes will go with that? That's the question. Uh, mac and cheese. <laughs> That's actually really funny if we did that. Okay, let's sneak some kale in there. Nancy Schubert, a member, wants to know what kind of kale that is. Um, Nancy, I'm not going to answer that question. Other members are. You guys, what kind of kale Maggie am I B. using? I Maggie B says kale stripper. Uh, you know what? This one's a little wilted, so I'm not sure it'd work. And someone sent me a video of just like ripping it by hand, but that only works if the thing is really, really fresh. Dana, Christina Art. I like the last name. Super Chat, 4 dollars Thank, Thank you, you so much. Dania. I appreciate that. Yes, it's Lassonado. Welcome, Susan, to the Flav City family. It's Lassonado, Black, Tuscan, or Dinosaur. I heard that Tuscan kale should taste like the Tuscan sun. If it's from Tuscan, yes. Okay. That's correct there. I do want to go to Tuscany sometime soon. Desi and I went there about six years ago, but um, the company that I get the keto wine from invited me to their, uh, their winery in Tuscany. We we're supposed to go right around this time of year for the harvest, but then Corona happened. So maybe next year sometime we'll do it. Oh, this collagen, the collagen water at Costco. It's $1.24 a bottle. It's $3 a bottle at Whole Foods. Get that vital protein collagen water at Costco. It's the best deal ever. Richard Marcotte says, asparagus, cream spinach, baked sweet potato, and mushrooms. You know, that sounds like a traditional steakhouse, which I like. It also sounds like a little too much work, Richie. Uh, Maritza says, Art, do you know if whether chickens that are pasture-raised and fed industrial seed oils in the feed matters um so pasture-raised chicken will be fed seeds and unless they're organic they are going to be industrial unless you get it from a local farm that doesn't use that which is why i always say to get organic uh pasture-raised chicken so they don't have the industrial grains like that by the way marcotte's saying to do one of those not all of them oh my god i have a great recipe for cream spinach bobby can you show me the water bottle from costco oh sure huh it's a lot of a multi-pack of flavor. Shaheen wants to know, Bobby, will you go to Aspen? I remember many years ago you went and cooked in that gorgeous kitchen of your relative's place. Oh my God, man. Yeah. I like to go there. Um, I like to go back and visit. My, my relative, my cousin, has the most amazing house in Aspen with a kitchen that is probably three times the size of my condo. Um, yeah, I'd love to go back there, especially with Rose so she can start to ski. And we can just chill in the lodge and drink Flav City hot chocolate. Megan Fitzsimmons wants to know, can you wash with collagen water too? Like, is it okay for skin? Uh, I'm not sure why you want to do that. That'd be very expensive. But yeah, you could if you wanted to. If you're made of money, you can do it, girlfriend. If you're eating Wagyu every day. If you're eating Wagyu every day. Let's see. Michael Kabitka, got any recipe suggestions for ham? I got a small ham I'd like to use up. Um... Yeah, sandwiches a, like a Russian salad, but roast cauliflower uh, with roasted carrots with a mayonnaise dressing and ham in there. It's called Russian salad done keto. I have a recipe in the cookbook for that, too. Sydney, Australia in the house. And it's 840 in the morning there. Nice. Getting, getting hungry because of this. Love it. That's what I want to hear. Sydney. That's such a great time in Sydney. Hello, right? Sydney. And I do, though, but I want to go to Toronto really bad. Uh, I hear great things about Toronto. I've only been to Montreal and Quebec City and had such a great time. Chandra Ponchi with the house. And I do want to go back to Montreal. Once things get back to normal, whenever that is, we're going to start taking road trips and meeting up with Flav City fans in different cities. 
It's gonna be a lot of fun. Mm, that pasta's great. Pasta's dumb. So, how can I drain that? I'm gonna drain it, but I'm gonna save some pasta water. Inga, right. watching from Sweden. Come back here. This is probably the one of the most important things of making either homemade pasta, semi-homemade pasta, saving a little bit of pasta water. Why do you want to bother doing that, Art? Because uh, it's going to help you down the road. Exactly. See that? It's not just water. It's starchy water. So, Gold. So what if my sauce is a little, little thin and thick, right? Well, then you water it down with some water. But if you it's use regular thick. water... You said it's thick and thin or thin and thick? Yeah, maybe I said it. If it's a little too thick, thin would be the opposite. Yeah, if it's thin, you don't want pasta water. Thank you, Art. Third grade here in Flake City Live. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to drain this pasta. Let's switch sides. Okay. Right. Yeah, pasta water is always a must. You probably not can use it as much with like a red base sauce, but when you're making like uh, other sauces, especially like in the cookbook, I have a five ingredient uh, tagliatelle with kale and mushrooms, and it's just pasta water and uh, cheese. And those two ingredients make such a lovely sauce, it's crazy. Yeah, Michael Kabitka feels that so many people miss the opportunity in using pasta water. Yeah, very, very true. It's called culinary gold. How long should the kale cook in the sauce for? In the sauce? Yeah. Anywhere from three to 10 minutes. You don't really want to make it like super wilted because the idea is that the sauce is cooked and I want some kind of freshness in there. Christy and Nicole, hey Bobby, serious question. I've been hoping to ask. Someone asked on your Q&A with Erica, where do we start if we are trying to make positive changes in our mm -hmm. diet? So. I think I answered that question. So if you want to start somewhere, um, start with eliminating cane sugar from your diet, process plant-based oils like canola and soy, and try to eat whole foods, meaning as little pre-processed food as possible. That's where you start. And then after that, you can go, go, go. And as soon as you said this keyword, I thought the same thing that Alan Girl is harping on here. Oh, thank God he forgot about the G in Tagliatelle. <laughs> Oh, ha, ha, ha. Tagli and tell. Well, art brainwashes me, so now I forget. You know, I, I get all these things home. Yeah, it can be overwhelming when you want to start down the road, but cane sugar, gone. Processed plant-based oils, gone. And as little processed food or pre-made food as possible. Okay, so we took that beautiful pasta. We boiled it. Any chance we can get a recipe for Bobby-approved matzo balls? Uh, I don't think that one's going to happen, guys. That, that might be outside of my wheelhouse, unfortunately. Because all, all, I can, all I can matzo meal anyway is made with, uh, you know, white flour and stuff or white matzah. I really don't like to do that. Now, I don't care if you're making semi-homemade or whatever. The sauce almost always has to be finished with the pasta. So check it out. I'm going to spill all my sauce in there. And I'm going to cook it for a couple minutes so the sauce and the noodle become one. That's an easy way to take a store-bought ingredient like my sauces and make it taste really homemade and no not approved. And by the way, and we did a video today about the top 10 things that all home cooks need in their kitchen. Most of it was kitchen gear. Some of it was pantry stuff. This ceramic pan from Swilling is a must. It's on my Amazon shop page down below. It is the most high quality um, ceramic pan with stainless steel exterior. I love it. Yeah, Vicki Murph, um, it, it's a combination of things. Yeah, if your sauce is too thick, the pasta water will thin it up, but it also kind of thickens it too because it's starchy. Yes, exactly. It gives it a nice uh, velvety uh, texture. The velvet fog. So to speak. The velvet fog, like metal torment. <laughs> okay, so now we cook it together. And I think I actually want a little bit of pasta water. And now, it's when we have our really good Spanish olive oil on standby and Parmigiano Reggiano. But how many Art months? Will only eat a certain age Parmesan that is aged. How, how many are? I go for minimum 36. 36. It's the only cheese I'll eat. And if you're a Costco member, get it there because it's legit Parma Parmigiano Reggiano. And the price is too legit to quit. It's like Milo. It's the only racket he'll use. Yeah, it's, guys, it's crazy. I've seen. Um, lesser age Parmesan's like uh, Whole Foods that are more expensive than the 36 month age. And Art, when I look at a 36 month age, I might be like, whoa, 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 what's this? Right? What's this doing in there? What's, what are these spots are? What are these like white freck? Does it have coronavirus? I like to call it goodness. <laughs> Why is it goodness? It's little crystals that form as it ages and they're just like full of flavor. 
and uh, Jen H is full of generosity today because a ten dollar oh. Canadian super chat here again. Bobby, Thank you, Jen. Toronto is great, but Windsor, Ontario is closer here first. Uh, it's closer. Oh, Come oh, here first. Okay, I, that's what I want to hear. Now I can actually make this sauce even cheesier by doing two things. I'm going to grate with my microplaner, one of the top 10 essential kitchen items for home cooks, because look what it's doing, Art. It's grating into a snow shower. I think I'm going to do some QC I, here. Good idea. Do it. And I like that because it melts very evenly, but also good for lemons, also good for grating garlic. This is a Flav City must. That's why I'm <laughs> obsessed with zest. Have you seen the Italian grandmother cooking YouTube channel, Buon Appetiti? Um, I don't think I've heard of that one. I'll have to I'm check that out. Check that out. That sounds amazing. So we'll take this beautiful snow shower here. It's snowing in the Alps of Parma. Look at that. Oh, yeah, man. All right, we'll put that in there. Then you need something to help thin that out. Pasta water. Boom goes the dynamite. Now we mix it up. We always say, what's that from? Yes. Did you know what it's from? I have no idea. There's this dude who's a student at like uh, some college and he's got a YouTube video. He's like, you know, doing the college news and he was a sportscaster and he wasn't the greatest at it, but he just said, boom, goes a dynamite. He's the one who invented it? I'm pretty sure. I just saw it yesterday. Maybe Cor somebody can correct me. It's, I was watching the video questioning why I was watching it because it was not a good uh, sports segment until he said, boom, oh, goes crazy. a dynamite. Yeah. Let me check this for seasoning because sometimes it needs a little bit of salt. And then as soon as it goes off the heat, I'm going to put a big drizzle of that Spanish extra virgin olive oil. Let me see. Oh, my God. Look at the side of that. Oh, my God. That is so good. Look, it's not overly sauced. It's not swimming in sauce. It's perfectly dressed with that red creamy kale sauce. Now, all right, we come over here. We get a bottle of manzanilla. Manzanilla extra virgin olive oil de Spain. Bravo. <laughs> and we go like this. This is a finishing oil. Look at the color. Oh, don't stop there. Keep going. Look at the color. Now, as soon as it hits the heat, put your schnoz over there, Art. And put everyone's schnoz over there. Smell. It unlocks the aroma of the olives, whether that be grassy, fruity, spicy. Oh, my God. That's why you don't cook with really good extra virgin olive oil. So quick school. I cook with the extra virgin olive oil from Costco. Why? Because I don't want highly processed oil and um, extra virgin is cold pressed. That is a good extra virgin olive oil, not a great one, which is why I use it for cooking and it's a great price at Costco. Something like this is so pristine. If you cooked with it, you would ruin the natural flavor of it, therefore making it not so special. But by finishing with it and getting that aroma, that's great. I always tell people, have a bottle of cooking oil Go to Costco, get the 100% Italian EVOO, get a finishing bottle. Finishing bottles are all about your preference. You can easily spend $15 to $30 for one. But Art, these guys actually, check it out, have all these bottles here for $11. The price is literally insane in the membrane. But with code Flav City at checkout, I talked them into giving us another 15% off. What's so special about it? All of these are from one farm in Spain and they're pressed within six hours of harvest, meaning it's about as fresh as can be. Most extra virgin olive oils come with old oils that are very bad. So check them out. And then once again, while we're down here, brand new today, Flav City memberships. You click the join button below any button on my channel, you can join. The basic membership is great for $5. You get a badge next to your name when you make a comment and you get access to the Flav City emojis. This is the first four. We have 25 more coming. And it's a great way to stand out and support the channel. So that's what I got going on today. Fun, fun stuff. If you ever come to Missouri, I'll give you a few dozen eggs for my own chicken. They are pasture raised and don't have any grain. Dang, that sounds amazing, Nathaniel. Done. I'm Michael, in the new cookbook, which is on my Flav City shop page, click the link down below, I have a five-ingredient paleo uh, hot cocoa recipe that is gangbusters. Is chicken. the Kirkland Organic EVOO just as good as the Kirkland no, EVOO? you have to get the Kirkland 100% EVO Italian. It's got to be the 100% Italian. I've got a lot of people buying the wrong one and emailing me. I'm like, no, 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 return it. It's got to be the 100% Italiano. Okay, now that, that um, pasta is not done, Arthurian. We have to get a little water. It's getting hot in here. 
1,300 people watching right now, by the way. Amazing. Uh, by the way, if you haven't done so yet, leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. I can't believe Nathaniel in, um, in uh, Missouri has his own pasture-raised chicken with no grain. That's cool because most farming of chicken has grain. I mean, it's just too expensive to do it on a big level without it. Good for you, Nathaniel. I'd love to try that. Now check it out, Art. I'm gonna take the chicken that we roasted at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. I seasoned it with salt and pepper, that's it. And because I cooked bone on, skin on chicken, it's about as juicy as can be. If you didn't hear me earlier, this is the pasture raised chicken from Thrive Market. Currently on Thrive Market, they have what I consider the best quality pasture raised chicken from a place in Arkansas called Cook's Venture. It is so darn tasty and they have an October sale. So tomorrow when I have my special link, try Thrive Market, it's 30 days risk free. I mean, if you don't like it, you get your money back and try that chicken. It is literally the most amazing pasture raised, slow grown heirloom chicken you'll ever try in your life. I'm off the bone here. Oh my God. Bone on chicken. If you're a boneless skinless chicken fan, start expanding to bone on skin on thighs. Madeline, yeah, Madeline Browdy, hello from Deerfield. Deerfield, Illinois Hi, or Massachusetts? No, Illinois. Maddie and Brad. That's Maddie and Brad. Oh, is, oh yeah. okay. I didn't know that. Maddie, I heard you're moving on River North. Very exciting. Mm. Oh, my God. Rose, is that chicken unbelievable? Mm -hmm. Did Daddy do it or did Daddy do it, Rose? Yeah. Uh, Daddy... Viviana wants to know if that chicken is too legit to quit. It is too legit. Too legit to quit. Hey, hey. 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 Right, Rose? Can I get a high five? Boom! Mmm, <laughs> we're crushing. Putty would be happy with a high five. Mmm, can you wash my hands? Wow. Just to add a little protein into that chicky chicky wow wow, right? And now we just run our knife through this. The heat's off of the pasta. <laughs> we gotta chop some parsley. Just like the head. Parsley out of the uh, free head nori. Parsley? Yeah. Russ, I want you to try the pasta and let everyone know how it is. There you go. Yeah. Try a little postures. Desi, did you eat liver while you were pregnant? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Absolutely. Very good stuff. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Pasture raised or at least organic. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, uh, things you want to avoid during... Is she okay? Oh. Get it out, Rosie. <laughs> things you want to avoid during pregnancy are, I mean... Things that can make you sick, like uh, raw fish or uh, mercury in fish. Uh, you, you don't want to have any tuna. You don't want to have any swordfish. Things like that. Yeah, chicken livers for sure. Chicken liver, yes. Iron. You need so much iron because you're creating so much extra blood. You need Bobby, uh, do you want to address this one again? Michael Kubitka brings it up. Um, Bobby, you forgot the Kara emoji. Uh, it's actually coming. We were only limited to four emojis, and then I told the Kara today, Desi's brother is going to make the Kara emoji. We think we're going to do one Kara emoji with like Rose in one arm and the camera in the other. <laughs> oh, but if you have other ideas for emojis, leave comments down below or email us because Desi's brother can make anything, right? Yeah. I can't wait for the DJ D Slob one. Desi's going to have headphones on with a DJ rig. One, right? one headphone, one. like holding it up here and hand on the record yeah, player. Yeah, and then the Bulgarian flag there. DJ D Slot from the Beijing with love, right? That's gonna be cool. Check this out, Art. What about I, holding a cake in one hand? Uh, that'll be the other one. That'll be like hashtag. That'll Desi be like Bakes. yeah, Desi Bakes. A cake in the shape of a record player. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> forget about it. Oh my goodness gracious. Hi, right, here we go. We're uh, ready. I just want to make a little side salad with uh. uh hashtag feed Desi. Hashtag feed Desi. Yeah, Trish, Trish, e, you can chase Trish e says you need an Aspera guy emoji. <laughs> Aspera guy. Maybe like a, like a uh, living asparagus. And then uh, yeah, for Ramik. For every reference that Bobby and uh, Art have. Ramik, yeah. Maybe not every, but the top ones. Ramik, Ramikla1 says liquid diabetes emoji. <laughs> <laughs> that should be. I think we need a wall though, too. Oh, like not, not the Waldo from the cartoons, but some yes. other Waldo. Yes. yes, I think your brother's gonna go crazy when we give him all these requirements. He's gonna regret. He's not even able to understand. He's gonna regret I this have decision. To translate in Bulgarian. Hold on, like, I'm not done yet. It's not. He's like, it's not translating. I don't Check it out, Art. Right. Hey, what's what's uh, Bulgarian for? Your, what your brother's gonna be singing? Regrets. I've had a few. Sorry. 
He's not going to like all his emojis. Check this out, Artie. Yeah. We have great ideas. I mean, what? Frank Sinatra and Bulgarian. There's I don't so know many. How to it's do all that. about inside jokes for the Flav City family. Okay, so let's focus on that bowl there. A little bit of parsley. A little bit of E V O O. Got any basil? I don't have any basil. I'm sorry. That's a shame. Uh, I could go outside and get some. Kind of strange. Skin, it is but... a kitchen. <laughs> and then a little Art bit emoji of. emoji with a limerita and cheese balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Look at that, Art. There's wow. Desi's dinner right there. Wow. That's, That's the amazing. most tasty, nutrient dense, semi homemade pasta dish you can ever make. Store bought sauce, amped up with onions, garlic, and kale, and really, really good chicken and pasta. That's what you so want. So, Work Sarah Windmuller says hashtag feed Art, hashtag feed Desi, hashtag feed Kara. Yep. Now we're, we're going to have all those. Um, like, I saw something pretty intriguing here. Andrew Adelin says something from the Bee Gees. Bee Gees? What's like, that? Bee Gees. Bee Gees, but oh. Gee, G H E E. Oh, okay. Oh my God. The Bee Gees. That's his brother, Nick. What are you talking? What does that mean? <laughs> Lost in translation. Viviana like the uh, Limerita reference yeah, and the cheese balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alan Girl, um, I'm not sure I totally understand the cheese balls reference too, but I love the joke that I'm obsessed with cheese balls. You never know when cheese balls might make an appearance, though. So I'll just leave it's it like true, that. Art. It's very true. You never know. And Truth be told, I do not eat cheese balls all the time. Very rarely, probably. Come on. Special, way, oca special occasions people only. People want to know what spaghetti we use. This is the best gluten-free, nutrient-dense pasta on the market. Mm -hmm. Second to that would be the red lentil pasta from uh, wow. this is a bomb, Whole Foods. Thank you, my dear. Hey, Bobby, the unbun has a pizza crust now. Yeah, we tried it, actually. Yeah. I don't know if it would be that good for pizza. Uh, it's more like a flatbread. Ray Farrell had a question for me. Art, if the moon were made of barbecue spare ribs, would you eat it? <laughs> Me, I'd have a bite. Hell, I'd have seconds. Didn't Ray uh, send you a message about that one, too? <laughs> Richard Marcotte, the brisket a month ago was amazing. I loved it. I got to do it again. I want to make some improvements to it, though. Yeah. First I wanna, time. I want to get out of grass-fed brisket next time. I'm going to do it again. I got some things I'm going to tweak. Okay, I got a I'm little bit do of it. organic baby, uh, baby romaine here. My liking is perfect. Oh, why don't you give your flavor notes here, please? Mm. I mean, first of all, it has a great bite, the pasta. Thank I mean, you. you would not tell it's, it's gluten-free. Thank you. So, so tasty. Mm. I mean, the sauce is so creamy. It has a little tangy from the tomatoes. But what really uh, gets all the flavors to like come together mm -hmm. is the Parmesan cheese and the little olive oil on top. Yeah, I concur 100%. 100%. We nailed it. Oh, and another reason why I like that besides the ingredients, it literally tastes the same and has the same texture as uh, real, real uh, pasta. Yeah, Ramesh, Bobby was invited, but it, when I was serving the brisket, it did not work out for him coming into the burbs from the city with a child. It was just not the right time yeah, of day. Yeah, it was just bad it was too much. He was invited. I didn't leave him off the list. He's like, no, you can't come. <laughs> we only were talking about it for weeks and he didn't invite me. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you do. So for you guys. Wow. Mm-hmm. Pretty exciting. Now for the dressing. I made cheese balls are good. I'm not gonna. I just do a that combination of. This one is the mild one. This was a gold medal winner at Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. But I mean, look at the color once again. It's all evolved with death. This is liquid gold. I mean, this is unbelievable. So a little bit of the Waldo, a little bit of salt, a little bit of peps. And then, just to keep things super easy. Amber Dummett in Ottawa, Illinois. I would love you to come over and make my family dinner one night. Is that possible? <laughs> Ottawa, Illinois is known for a pork tenderloin sandwich. Are you serious? Well, a pork tenderloin there. I know that. Interesting. Uh, I was going to use, there we go. Use some primal kitchen dressing. No, Alan, girl, I don't love cheese balls as much as I love steak. You are correct on that. A little bit of PK. But they're darn Costco close. Costco Caesar dressing. We'll mix it up here. Shaheen, I'm sorry if I missed a message. There's, oh, I'm trying to read a lot of messages. Uh, I still have some of my brisket in the freezer. I didn't eat it all. I uh, had to take a break from eating oh, brisket. Wow. Sometime soon I'll finish that off. Make sure. Mm, delicious. Delicious. So good, Thank you. 
Uh, Renee Denham says, Art, on my laptop, it says join. Clicked on it, didn't work. That's weird. That's intriguing. Huh. Because, hey, if you're signed in, you should be able to, uh, you should be able to, uh, leave a comment what you're doing, Renee. So I wonder why it's doing that. Huh. Weird. Somebody said use cheese balls instead of croutons in a salad. No, not a bad idea. That's pretty intriguing. Let's see how many members we got so far here. We have 1,300 people watching right now. Nice. Wow. Where, can right you get now, that, where can you get the pasta other than Trader Joe's? Well, this one you can only get at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. If you're going to get pasta elsewhere, it should be made of red lentils or brown rice. You don't want one that has simple carbs. All right, according to YouTube, we have 29 current members on there. Very, very cool. You guys, I'd love to see that. Sarah, the bolognese from Flav City is amazing, which is why we should do it on a live stream sometime. I promise you guys, once it gets even colder, we'll do a three-hour bolognese. Alan Just Girl's theory is that the whole issues with the join has to do with iOS upgrades. Some oh, who join mentioned Android. So interesting. They'll fix it eventually. We'll fix everything. We'll fix everything. Okay, uh, there's also a link. Uh, hold on, let me do this. Maybe a link will help you. I saw a link right here. A link will do you good? Yeah, I'm going to put a link right here in the uh, I think a link. description box. Maybe that'll help. Smash that like button, folks. Smash Thank you, Suzanne Beckin. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Join the channel. Mommy, you have, you have pasta How many carbs on that pasta? Well, let me tell you. It's not low carb, I can promise you that. But it's not about that, it's about complex carbs. 32 minus tree. You got 29 net carbs. All right, check it out, Art. Now I put the link there. So, under the EVOO link, join the channel. So try that, see if that helps you a little better. All righty. Right, let's just clean up a little bit and then we'll plate some more dishes for Art and Kara and myself and we're done. I told Lori, you. Lori Mock says, do you ever come to Connecticut? I would love to see you. Your little girl is so cute. I've only been to Connecticut once. I was doing a little food special for this company I was working with and we went to, uh, what's that like really wealthy town in Connecticut where all the hedge fund managers live? Uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I went to a, a food truck that did lobster. It was a Connecticut style lobster rolls and it was so Is that the good. town where ESPN is located? Uh, no, it's not that one. Okay. Uh, you just got a super chat from Marta Thomas, $10. Hello. I would like to know what is the best protein Lynch. shake I can have since I cannot have anything with soy since I'm a breast cancer survivor and have to watch Blade what I City eat. City Protein Shake. I got a video of the best ones and the worst ones. Go there uh, for dairy and non-dairy. I got you covered. Yeah, it's Greenwich. Exactly. Westport, Connecticut? Uh, no, it's uh, Greenwich. Greenwich. How good is the cassava pasta from Jovial? Pretty good. I have it literally right there. It's delicious. Westchester, Connecticut says coffee pot. No, it's, Gre it's Greenwich. I remember now. Okie dokie. Uh, Darker Void says, watched a video. Next video was this. It automatically brought me here. Worth it. Wow, how about that? Brought you straight to a live stream. Okay, so check this out. I didn't really suggest a live stream. Yeah. We'll take our beautiful pasta here. Bobby, is the tea going to be available for international shipping, says Shaheen. Canada for sure, Shaheen. I'm not sure about uh, like Middle East and everything. I'll have to check on that. I hope so. I definitely wanted to hook up my Canadian fans because I get so mad when Canada gets the uh, shaft when it comes to shipping or like products that don't even exist there. It's like, oh, wow, we don't have a fraction of Lisa Kirby here. says Greenwich, Connecticut, very bougie. Yeah, totally. <laughs> we drove by like all these car dealerships. It was like... Porsche, Jaguar, Ferrari. I was like, holy cow, are you kidding me, man? Let's make the plate look really nice here. Like we're at a restaurant. Eh? That's, that's, like, that's restaurant. like Scottsdale Road in Scottsdale near the 101. They got Lamborghini, they got Ferrari, yeah, right? Mercedes, BMW. Crazy. Everyone else you can think of as a luxury car, boom, right within yeah. 100 yards of each other. I told you guys, luxury cars don't do it for me. Fancy jewelry doesn't. My only bucket list is to fly on a private jet. That's all I want to do, right? You want to do that once? No, I'd like to do it more than once. I think it's the kind of thing, once you do once, you're like, oh, I can get used to this. I think that'd be overrated. Ideally, like, it's a really nice destination, too, like Hawaii. Sounds like Lemon Avenue in Dallas, Richard Marco. Okay, and I've probably seen it. Welcome, we got a new family mount, can't read the name, but welcome to you. A little bit more EVOO. What name is that, does it say art? The what? What name is that? I can't read it. There we go. Ma oh, Maggie! <laughs> What's up, Maggie? Welcome. 
Have you had the Heart of Palm Pasta from Trader Joe? Um, yes, it's good. Uh, not quite as good as Natural Heaven, but it's good. A little bit of parsley. And Parmesan. Go to the Dominican Republic. Uh, I was there a long time ago. Is that when you missed out on the U2 concert? I don't or no, remember. Or that somewhere else? My favorite place in like uh, the Caribbean area is Aruba. The beaches in Aruba are a dream come true. I actually might want to go there this winter with Desi and uh, Rose just to chill. This noise pollution won't stop outside. Have the join button but doesn't process the request. That yeah, stinks. try again later on. I wouldn't worry. Don't worry about it. Anne O'Connor, welcome. Food scarcity in Ukraine. I was actually in Ukraine in uh, Odessa in the Black Sea uh, many years ago. Had a real fun time. Okay, Kara and Art, get your tukuses in here. It's time for you to try some postures. Can we still see the videos if we cannot afford to join? Yeah, absolutely. This is just totally if you exactly. feel like Yeah, going. these are free live streams. The only one I'm going to do is an extra live stream just for members. It'll be a cook along or whatever you guys want. There he is, Arthur T. There she is, Kara with a C. <laughs> By the way, Rosie's just crushing. What do you have in here, Rusty? Oh, a little bit of a stew that mom made. Stew. Parsnip and cabbage. Parsnip and cabbage stew. Mm. Yummy. All right, bon appetit, guys. Thank you. Hashtag feed art, says Vivi. Oh, nice, Kathy. I love to hear that. Mm, look at that, Rose. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only the best, Richard, for uh, mm -hmm. Rosie. I did, Danielle. It's all there. What's up, Lou? Mm. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> You would not be able to tell that that's gluten free. Yo, yo, ma. Oh. Right? Mm -mm. That's what I love to hear. So Delicious. You know, Kira loves pasta. And I love so pasta. So <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan. You're a fan. Mm -hmm. It's all about the technique, huh? Yeah, if you're going to have store bought sauces, you got to, first of all, buy the best ones and then add a little mm -hmm. technique and finesse to them. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very it's good. Johnny P. How about that extra virgin olive oil on top? Delicious. It's mm -hmm. nice, right? Really good stuff. Could you grab me one too, please? Good oh, quality yeah. fresh EVOO is rich in antioxidants and polyphenols. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And the price on this is so Thank right, you. especially with the promo code for Flav City. Just try it. It'll, it'll literally change your life. Just like I talk about cooking with good salt, cooking with good olive oil at the end will elevate the meal. Oh uh, no, I avoid that Spanish olive oil at Costco. That one is not nearly as good in my opinion as the 100% extra virgin Italian. Let's see. Let's see. All right, everyone's loving it here. Loving it. Mm. Even Rosie's going to town. Mm -hmm. here. Oh, yeah. oh, the four pack. I, I'm not sure, Richard, if that's a full four pack. Let me check it out. All right, Rosie. <laughs> so lots of exciting things today. We got an easy recipe. Everybody's eating. Yeah, we got the Flav City memberships. We got the discount on the olive oil. Joe Gallagher just joined the Flav City team. So once again. Uh, for the Spanish extra virgin olive oil, click the link right below here. Uh, the sale goes, I think, for a few days, but right here. Use Flav City at uh, checkout. Casa Hualdo. Fantastic. Where's that four pack? Hualdo, man. Hualdo. What'd I say? Oh, here we go. Hualdo. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It is cheaper. Get the four pack and then use my promo code. You get 15% off there. That's a great call. You get one of each. That's very cool. So check that out. Uh, once again, channel memberships are live. We got all the emojis on there. Rose, let's put the rose emoji. Where's the rose emoji? I want to see your face, Rose. Rose. There it is, Rosie. There's the rose emoji. Boom. So channel memberships are there. Uh, we'll do one live stream every month, members only. Uh, Pre-order the new cookbook, Five Ingredients Semi-Homemade Meals is already a bestseller. Uh, launching on 12-1, 50 plus semi-homemade Healthy recipes using the best quality ingredients and products from the grocery store. And uh, sign up for the uh, immune tea. The Flav City immune tea pre-sale pre list is down there for my turmeric and ginger immune boosting tea. So that's all I got for today. We had a great time. Nice amount of people hanging out. Art's crushing that mm -hmm. pasta. Huh? Everybody is. You can't stop eating it. Well, I got to pour me a bowl too. Uh, no, none for you. All none. for us. All right. I'll just start cleaning the kitchen. Actually, the mess <laughs> isn't even that bad, right, Carol? 
Mm -mm. Yeah, Kara helps me clean the kitchen. This no, is nothing. Minor. She's seen a lot easy. worse than that. Easy peasy, <laughs> yeah, right? Deal. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, that's it. Tomorrow, I right, grab the steaks out of the uh, fridge one more time. Tomorrow, set your alarm clocks for 4 p.m. Chicago time because we're making the most luxurious steaks ever done on a live stream. We're making Costco oh A5 God. Japanese Wagyu steaks live and in effect. It's going to be epic. We got to figure out the side dishes we're going to make. 4 p.m. Oh sponsored by Thrive Market. All that good stuff. So uh, that's it, you guys. Awesome time hanging out. I feel uh, like uh, the next door neighbor on Home Improvement right now. Hey, you now. look like, uh, what was his name? Wilson. Was it? Wilson? Oh, that, that sounds right. Hey, Rose, you want to say goodbye to everyone? Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Is your food good, Rose? Very tasty, huh? She's seen the A5. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, food. yeah, Rose wants that A5. All right, guys, we're going to leave you with a picture of Rosie. Good night, everyone. Had a great time. Bye. Love y'all. Super fun.